Good morning, folks. Today has some of the coolest news in my history on YouTube. Amazingly, it has virtually nothing to do with the sun, which you can probably tell when I open the news with something as mundane as this tiny filament, despite how pretty it is, it's usually indicating that there isn't much to discuss today. And indeed, that's true for the sun right now, but same can't be said for the heavens. This morning, the planets are putting on a show, which you should definitely check out some morning if you can. But in just three days, the moon will be in there as well, and boy oh boy is that close to Venus. As sunrise comes on December 7th, the skies will deliver a near eclipse of the second rock from our star. But the real show doesn't happen till a few hours later. The moon is probably going to be visible with the naked eye, but barely, and Venus not at all. However, if you have a scope or binoculars and you are confident you won't blind yourself by accidentally pointing them at the sun, you've got to get out there and watch this eclipse happen for yourself. Through enhanced zoom, you will be able to see the morning star hide behind the wolf. For most viewers in North America, you will also be able to see the end of the encounter. Then, we come down to Italy. Folks, volcanoes have utterly dominated this period of earthquake and volcano alerts. This is the fourth volcano to erupt during this high earthquake alert period we've had for the last few days, and frankly, with zero deaths from them, I'll take that over big quakes probably every time. The best part of that video and photos online from Etna is the gorgeous volcano lightning in and around the ash cloud. It's a lot of energy, static, ions, superheated gases, etc. We're not done with cool news just yet, but let's come now to spaceweathernews.com to find the last 24 hours of our star dominated by coronal holes. In fact, these dark features were the impetus for the below ground alert here at Earth, but you may also remember they've not been behaving as expected. Yesterday we showed how the powerful red portion top left should have faced Earth, but decided to hang back and begin jumping over the Earth-facing longitudes. Well, it can't happen again, right? Can't have a jump gap two days in a row. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Volcanoes over big quakes is making a lot of sense right now. Let's peek in on the sunspots because a ray of hope for space weather can be seen in the incoming southern active region with bipolarity in close quarters there. Top news continues. The sun's flaring process mirrors that of stars capable of producing super flares. We're talking X1000, X10000 flares, major planet killers there. Let's hope the Earth-facing quiet is in effect if he ever decides to trip one of those. And folks, the top weather story today leaves three million people in trouble in India as the worst floods in more than a hundred years lash the subcontinent. Folks, we also have a very important Deeper Look episode that posted yesterday. It is not content protected, so anyone, website member or not, can click Premium, then Deeper Look, then scroll down to episode 94, Irrational Concern. Now in the fourth round of the CERN hoax since I came onto YouTube, I've got doom fatigue and tend to ignore this stuff, but if you have any concerns about the Collider, you dare not call yourself awake without watching that video. Again, it's a free episode. Also folks, it appears you guys really wanted a copy of that book. More coming in about two weeks. And if you missed it yesterday, the time commitment for these conferences and the importance of the actual research that goes in behind them means that Phoenix will be our last conference for a while, at least until late 2017, probably 2018. So come on out and see the show. Discounts for students and seniors and group ticket purchases, the usual stuff. I'm confident you all know by now where to find everything you'd need in our community. We've got pressure and radar. Planets, Etna, and shots of our star to close. It's 6 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.